October 8th is World Octopus Day. So to help celebrate, I'm going to show you a follow along sketch of an octopus, tell you some fun scientific facts about octopuses, and some crazy stories about them too. So hang on with your suction cups, and here we go. The only supplies you'll need for this are a red pencil, a black pencil, and a regular sheet of paper. You can use cardstock for the paper if you'd like, but you don't have to. Regular paper's okay. I've used two reference photos. The first one has a nice shot of the head and the eye, but the legs are tangled. The second one has a better shot of the legs, but the head is facing away. On the first reference photo, I'm just making a red shape around the head. That's the only part I'm going to use. You don't need to have the reference photo yourself. You can just watch me make red shapes on it. Now I'm using the other reference photo that has a better arrangement of the body and legs. I'm drawing a series of red lines and simple shapes over the reference photo, trying to simplify the whole thing. And each leg, I'm just making it a line. I'm not putting any detail in it, but maybe I'm adding here and there some embellishments and curls that I just like the way they look. And then I'm also going to count to make sure that I've got eight legs in the picture before I go on to put it on my other sheet of paper. If I make any mistakes or decide to change anything, I don't erase. Just draw over it with the red pencil and leave the mistake there as a guideline for me. Now on my regular sheet of paper, I'm just using the head and the eye from the first reference photo. And then I'm switching to the second reference photo for the rest of the body. Just copying the red lines and shapes that I made on that reference photo onto my regular sheet of paper. While I'm drawing, I'll tell you that scientists consider octopuses the most intelligent of all invertebrates. Invertebrates are animals without a backbone. They're especially clever in two things, escaping and disguising. And they can also use tools, which is usually only seen in more highly evolved animals like mammals. There's a type of octopus called a veined octopus that finds and drags around empty clamshells until they find two that match, flip them over, and hide in between the two sides like a clam. Their bodies are so squishy they can squeeze through a tiny crack as long as it's big enough for their beak, which is the only hard pot on their bodies. In April 2016, there was an octopus named Inky that was in the National Aquarium in New Zealand. One night his tank lid was open just a little bit and he made the newspaper the next day with his daring drive for freedom. He slithered out of his tank, dropped to the floor, scooted across, went down a drain pipe and wedged himself in and dropped 164 feet to the ocean below. Another fun getaway method an octopus will use is to squirt water forcefully through a tube called a siphon, and it causes the octopus to rocket off in the opposite direction while flowing out a dark liquid out of the tube that muddies the water so predators can't see. One of the scientists I researched for this video called this trick farting ink. You can see on my drawing I'm using a black pencil now to make the legs wider. The red pencil just gives me a guide as to where to position them, but then with the black pencil I'm making them into real looking legs. I'll tell you another weird and wonderful defense method used by blanket octopuses, a type of octopus that's immune to the sting of the Portuguese man of war. When they meet one, they yank off the poison tentacles from the Portuguese man of war and use them 
like brandishing lightsabers like Star Wars, fighting off other predators. Finishing up my drawing here, adding little details like the suction cups to the arms. When I've got it how I like it, I can put it onto a good piece of watercolor paper if I want by shading the back with my black pencil to get a nice full black mark and then going to the front of it and drawing over my good black lines so it transfers onto a better quality sheet of paper. So I hope you've become a fan of the amazing octopus just like me. And if you'd like to see more videos about wild animals and hear more fun facts, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and click on the bell so you'll be notified the next time I post a video. Thanks for watching.